Hi, this is a grocery haul video. I went to Aldi, I got loads and loads of the discount red stickers there, yellow stickers in other stores, Aldi do red, don't know why. I'm gonna go through and show you everything I got, how much everything cost. But first, let's talk about this situation. So, I very rarely buy clothes for myself. Like, I, I just don't enjoy clothes shopping and I'm always buying clothes for the kids, so yeah, I don't. But I may have had, a few weeks ago, a few glasses of wine. Doesn't often happen, but I did. And I went on Amazon because I saw some YouTube short or something on this hoodie. So I bought one and you're supposed to be able to fit the cat in the pouch. It's a cat wearing hoodie is what I bought because I'm quite mad. And I forgot that I'd done it because I think I, I bought it at like 2 a.m. or something. Um, <laughs> and uh, this is why at my age, I should not be having more than two glasses of wine. I bought it, it's finally turned up today, I've tried it, and my cat is too huge. You do not fit, sir. You're just, you don't, I'm sorry. Um, you're beautiful, and you seem very comfy. You've been purring a lot, but I'm not having any more luck with my second cat. Morph is thoroughly unimpressed by this situation. Oh dear. Mm, anyway, onto the grocery haul. So this is what we're working with. I got some really cool stuff today, actually. So today is Saturday. Tomorrow is Easter Sunday. We are going to do a sort of Sunday lunch. And this chicken was 30% off. So I'm quite happy with that. The date on it is... Um, what date is it today? It's either the 30th or the 31st today. So that'll be fine tomorrow. This is an Easter egg for Ed. Um, no, it's not. I tell a lie. This one's for me. Milk chocolate and orange marble egg. No gluten containing ingredients, so I'm quite happy about that. This is a little treat to myself. I can never resist a help me, I'm going foosty plant. This plant see, clearly has seen better days. I will try to resurrect it. It was 50% off. I'm not entirely sure what it is. So if anybody knows what this plant is and what kind of love it needs, please do let me know. Uh, we've got some nappies. It's been a while since we bought any because we use cloth mostly. Um, they did have the baby bubble bath in stock. I love this stuff. It's either 85 or 89 pence. I'm not sure it'll be on screen. But typically, in our local stores anyway, you never get the bubble bath. There's always pallets and pallets of the lotion and the shampoo, but never the bubble bath. So whenever I see it, I grab a few bottles to last us for a few weeks. With it being Easter Sunday tomorrow, and I will probably enjoy a glass of wine or two with dinner. So I got us a couple of options, a nice Malbec, uh, Malbec, I do beg your pardon, and a Pinot Grigio. This is for Freya, because she now knows what Easter is and all about chocolate eggs. So I can't get away with not giving her an egg anymore. So I thought that would be nice for her. I did get one for Ed too, because I'm kind. Milk ripple egg and honeycomb with pretzel. That does sound very, very nice. I've got two things of cream cheese. I've got a couple of recipes that I need those for today. This was another red sticker item. Natoka cr hot cross buns. So it's basically Nutella, isn't it? Um, so chocolate nutty spread hot cross buns. The guys can have them as a bit of a breakfast treat or if they prefer, they can have some bunny crumpets. My two-year-old saw those on the shelf and they were in the trolley before I could do anything about it. Um, I like the concept. I think it's adorable. I think this looks a bit Donny Darko, but here we go. Got some easy peelers that were 50% off. They look absolutely fine, nothing wrong with those. So pleased to have those at a discount. Avocado, this is because I've got in my head I want to try growing an avocado tree from seed with Freya as a bit of a fun project, so. Okay, with the avocado, you can do the whole thing where you sort of stick um, cocktail sticks in it and suspend it over a glass of water. But as I was cutting into this avocado, I noticed that actually the outer skin of the seed was, is already coming away and there's already a root there. So I'm just going to skip that step. Will it work? I have no idea. I don't know. But hey, if you see an avocado plant in the background of my videos in a few weeks, then uh, you know that it, it did work. So I'm going to pop it in this, give it a good water and stick it in my heated propagator and see if anything comes to life. Got myself a nice one. It feels reasonably ripe, so that's nice. Salad for the tortoise, the beardy, the rabbit, etc. 50% off. Not bad. 
Ed's feeling a bit under the weather again, so I got some ibuprofen for him. This was quite cute, a little matching egg toy set. I just thought it was a bit of a, an Easter treat for the girls to open tomorrow and have a play with. That will do all right. I did get these eggs so that if the weather is good, I can hide them around the garden and Freya can have a little Easter egg hunt. So that could be quite fun. Then pineapple, because I want to cut the top off and see if I can get that to root and grow as well. To do this, all you do is cut off the top, leave uh, a wee bit on, and then you cut off all the flesh, anything that could potentially go rotten, um, leaving as much as of the stem intact as you possibly can. And you pull off some of the bottom layers of leaves and you eventually start exposing these tiny little, that was some of the fruit that needed to come off to, um, tiny little brown sort of nodules. And that's where the roots will grow from if it indeed works. So all you do is pop the, the leaves off and you put it out somewhere warm and bright to dry because you, you basically want anything that could go rotten to kind of cure over, seal over, if that makes sense. So once that's all done, I just popped up my kitchen windowsill, left it there for about a week. And after a week, everything was um, nice and <laughs> appropriately shriveled. Yeah, um, I'm making this sound really appealing, aren't I? Then I just popped it in a pot with, um, watered it really heavily, popped it in the heated propagator, and I guess we'll see if it roots. Bit of a fun gardening project with the kids. We are totally out of tuna, no way to live your life, so I got tuna in spring water, always in spring water, never brine because then the cats can eat it as well. And we've got some bananas, one of these already got eaten on the way home in the car. And finally, the days when I just cannot, a pasta bake sauce, so I've got a quick and easy dinner and that will go with the, the tuna. There we go. Oh, these... Um, yeah, these are basically creamy. The, the stick is useless because the filling is actually really quite solid. How do I know this? It's because we walked in the door literally five minutes ago and three of these eggs are now already gone. So, couldn't wait till Easter and it wasn't worth having the meltdown from the toddler. I just said, yeah, sure, we'll, we'll share one. It's fine. So that's everything that I got and a little update on the cat hoodie. Do I recommend this hoodie? No, the, the quality of it is not great the zip stick, it's a bit annoying. It's not big enough for either of my cats, granted one of mine is a rag doll and the other one is half Bengal, notoriously large breed. But I've been through all my many pets <laughs> and I have finally found one that's quite happy. You see, there's a, a little a thing here. Normally it looks like, this is what it looks like. So you unzip this to get the critter in and then you unzip this and they can poke their head out the hole. And, oh, he's, he's, he's gone. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can quite see. That is Odo the corn snake. And he's quite happy. He's loving life, but it's not quite working as intended, is it? No. Thank you so much for watching. You take care. Bye.